Good morning, this is Adam Tuiana with RJO Futures in Chicago. Coming to you this morning of Thursday, September 26, 2013. We're going to specifically focus on the technical side, the chart side and technical analysis for the cotton market today. Kind of continuing what our last video, what we discussed in our last video. So if we go right to the daily chart, we've been monitoring uh, what could potentially be a head and shoulders reversal pattern to the upside. Uh, we can first notice that huge sell-off that took place, and you can see that outline in the purple dotted circle there. It took place on two major days, uh, August 20th and the 21st. So the end of last month, the cotton market went from almost a 93-cent level, 92.80, all the way down to the 84-cent level. Uh, just for the sake of understanding leverage, uh, that is almost a $5,000 move in one futures contract. So. Also notice that when we had an open on that second day, which is August 21st, we had a gap down on that open. So what the market loves is for gaps to be filled. Uh, and you know, ultimately this gap may be filled. So when it's sold off, we can notice that the support comes in at the bottom of the chart. You can see the left uh, shoulder, you can see the head right in the middle there, and then of course the right shoulder and the turquoise circles there. So you can also see that I've measured the neckline, which is the purple dotted line that you see, and that's gonna sit at 85.50, which we discussed last time. So that area of 85.50, that neckline was actually broken on September 19th, which was uh, last week. You could see that little red circle there, and that's where we hit that high of 85.78 and broke that 85.50 area. So that 85.78 area became our resistance, our new resistance area. We then came into some resistance, we pulled off, had a pullback, uh, which typically happens in head and shoulders reversal patterns. Uh, we broke that neckline, pulled off pretty nicely, and now it looks to be making, as you can see over the past few days, looks to be making a return move back to that neckline area. Again, not uncommon. Uh, in head and shoulders reversal patterns. So if we measure a quick measurement from the neckline to the bottom, which is the head, to the tip of the head there, if we take that same measurement from the neckline to the head and then we project that, neck, uh, that measurement upward from the neckline, uh, then we get a measuring objective somewhere in the area of 89 cents. So uh, we'll keep a close eye on that. Notice that if we get to that 89 area, we will then have filled that gap. Uh, that we spoke of earlier. So upside resistance to pay attention to is going to be 85, that 85.78 area, while on the downside support is going to come in at 82.11. Please keep in mind that futures trading and options on futures does present substantial risk and it is not suitable for all investors. That being said, have a great day.